Good evening. St. Paul RCMP are looking for four suspects in connection with a scary incident over the long weekend in Saddle Lake. Now, early Saturday morning, the suspects allegedly used gunshots to force their way into a home and assaulted a man and a woman inside. Police attended, located a male and a female that were inside the house that had been injured, not as a result of a gunshot wound, but had been physically assaulted. They were treated on scene by EMS. RCMP were able to locate one of the accused, but they're still looking for up to four others. The lone suspect is in custody. He's facing more than 10 charges. I can't say off the top of my head what they are. I do know that he is facing a number of charges. He is known to us and we have issued an arrest warrant for one male youth at this time as well. Now, police say it's believed the suspects and the victims are known to each other. Well, some community members are turning a local tragedy into somewhat of a triumph as they prepare for a major fundraiser to support the families of all those involved in the fatal crash just over a week ago. Now, over $2,000 was raised at a barbecue Saturday. Now, according to organizer Vanessa Cowan, it was all to get the word out for a silent auction this week. Now, big uh, ticket items include a Scott Hartnell jersey, a TV, wedding photo, packages, and many more will be auctioned off. Now, Cowan says the amount of businesses and companies donating their services have been numerous. Art and Soul Gallery, Sheepskin Loft, OK Tire, Dust Devil Furnace, Tupperware, Can Safe, Sensi, Bobcat Services, Arbonne. Like, I could go on forever. Now, Cowan says she's still receiving item donations for the auction and that the community support is inspiring. I'm so proud. I'm just, I'm proud to be from here. And I'm proud of everyone. Everyone in this city deserves an acknowledgement for coming out for these kids and for this truck driver. Now the Legacy Centre will host the event on Thursday starting at 3 o'clock. All money raised will go to the 6th Border City Angels Fund and will be split up among the families. A local group dedicated to supporting those who have gone through loss or trauma are raising money to support a few new initiatives. Burgers hit the grill as volunteers from the Walking Through Grief Society spent the day outside of Sobeys this afternoon. Now the group is preparing to launch a children's program this year as well as others. We've just started a, a victims of homicide support group and a victims of suicide support group as well. So all this money helps to um, supply, su support them with supplies and things. Scott says services provided by the society are free and the fact that victims have somewhere to turn to is important to the healing process. Health-wise, we find that people can get back to a more normal lifestyle with support. Now the Walking Through Grief Society will be putting on another fundraising barbecue this Saturday outside of Sobeys. The little town of Macklin, Saskatchewan played host to more than 2,000 people this weekend. Now the 21st annual Bunnock World Championship kicked off on Saturday where people gathered excited to play the unique Bone Throne game in hopes of winning a big prize. Annika Notvate was there and has more. <laughs> Cheers could be heard all around the dusty arena as people played the game of Bunnock. Some were participating for their first time and others have been playing for years. Probably about 12 to 13 years. Me and my cousin have been playing together for that long. And it's not just playing the game that keeps Sugar coming back year after year. It's just the environment and everything like it's it's a good time like I don't know you got to be here for a long time or not even come once and you'll come back again. And that's why this tournament keeps getting bigger. We've grown from 76 teams in the first year uh, to 320 teams last year. 
This year we expanded to 384. Gartner has been coordinating the event for eight years and says they use the same tried and true setup every time. You're going to see, you see uh, 400 people playing right now and every half hour 400 people go on the courts and 400 people will come off. And when people head to the courts... Now this is how the game of Bunnick is played. Each team will have these throwing Bunnicks right here and they are going to try to throw this and hit the guard bones. Now the blue bones have to be flattened first before all these white bones are flattened. And once all the white ones are flattened, that team is the winner. Well, we'll crown a world champion Sunday night and uh, they get $2,500 in cash and the, the title of world champion. Everybody else will play for $40,000 in cash and prizes. For the Stang family, winning is top of mind. This isn't the first time they took part in the tournament coming all the way from Japan. I'm kind of excited and I'm really seriously to, I want to get the prize. <laughs> I, I like it because everybody can play and there's so many different ages that play all the way from like five years old and a hundred years old and everybody's in the same competition so and instead of watching you get to play like most games you go just to watch but yeah we, we can't wait to have our whole family in a team. And for the community of Macklin it's a very important weekend. It's a huge event it's probably our largest single fundraiser all of the food booths and the beer gardens and everything like that are operated by volunteer groups, so nonprofits from within the community, and this is their fundraiser for the year. For more information, visit the website at www.macklin.ca/bunnick.htm. Anna Kanafate, Newcap News.